Okay, class, uh, next step in the animation process, we are now ready to actually start animating this, uh, this little mana potion. So this is a very, very basic animation. Uh, it's an easy one to do. Uh, so now we're going to come to the part where we start looking at frames within Piskel. So the way Piskel arranges frames is they're stored right here on the left-hand side. Um, they're numbered, and you can turn them on or off as far as whether they're part of the uh, the animation itself by clicking on the little number here. We want to make sure that's highlighted in yellow. The frame you're currently on will have a yellow border, and it will preview what's in the layer of that frame that you're currently selected on. So we don't want to be on the highlights and label layer. We want to be on the mana potion layer. Um, there's a couple different ways you can add new frames of animation. You can add a totally new blank frame by clicking add new frame beneath it, but that's not actually what we want to do. And it's generally speaking, um, not how you're going to do most of your animations. Uh, so what I want you to do is just go to the bottom right hand corner of your frame of animation. You're going to hit duplicate this frame. We're going to click that once and then seeing that we're selected in this frame, what I want you to do is just click the eraser tool and we are going to erase one layer. You're going to see here it's flashing pretty quickly. We're going to drag this down to maybe about four frames per second right now. We're going to mouse over the same frame as before. We're going to duplicate that one. We're going to erase a layer of potion, duplicate it, erase a layer of potion, duplicate it. Sometimes I like to leave just like one pixel on the sides of my potion layer just because when, um, when you are actually draining a liquid, especially if it's more sort of a viscous liquid or, or liquid or a sticky liquid, it'll stick to the sides a little bit, adds a little bit of a realistic element. Uh, and go down again. It's erasing. You're noticing it's starting to play out. It's looping through the frames of animation up near preview. Duplicate. Another layer. You'll notice that the label and shine is remaining on top. It's actually erasing from behind there because that's on a separate layer. Go down. Duplicate. And erase again. Erase again. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom and we're going to empty out this, uh, this, little, ant, this little bottle here of all the potion. As you kind of get near the bottom here, you get to your last layer. What I like to do is just not even erase the whole thing, but just kind of like leave a couple of drops there. The last couple of drops and then an empty bottle. So you can see here it's nicely animated. If we go faster, it smooths it out, but it does go very, very quickly. Um, because we have such a low amount of pixels in this actual total drawing, it doesn't make sense to have super fast animations just because you don't have enough sort of between frames to create a smooth animation. So I like, uh, I think nine frames per second is fine for this particular one. But if this is in your game and it's animating, or even just if it's showing up and you're handing it in to me, this is a little bit too frantic of an animation in that it um, it immediately starts emptying and then as soon as it's emptied, it cycles back again. So let's uh, let's go up here to the first frame. Sometimes Piscal has an issue with you selecting the frame. You might have to click a few times before you get onto it. Don't click on this delete this frame. That's one of the things that people often do when they're trying to select a new frame. They end up actually clicking on the delete one. Um, with this frame right here where it's fully full, I just want you to hit duplicate this frame a whole bunch of times, like maybe 10 times. And it's just going to add basically a whole bunch of frames where nothing happens. It's just a little pause in the animation, even though it is still animating through frames. Then let's go all the way down to the bottom on frame, uh, I think it was 25. For me, it might be different for you. And I'm going to add a whole bunch of uh, empty frames there. So it'll now hold, empty, hold. Hold, empty, hold. And you've got your first animation all done. At this point, it's a really good idea to hit the save button. Make sure you've got it titled and hit save to your gallery.